Hi, I'm going to quickly show you how to access my GitHub and download all the materials necessary for this tutorial series and how to change the spreadsheet read line in the R code. If you already know how to do this, feel free to skip this video. The first step is to open up your browser and type github.com slash mohanwugupta slash machine dash learning dash neuroimaging dash tutorial. And once you're there, you can go ahead and peruse through my GitHub, but ultimately you'll want to click on the clone or download drop down and then download zip. And if you're on a Windows machine, you'll want to extract those files out of the zip folder. I don't remember exa the exact process for a Mac, but I think it's very similar. I want to go ahead and open up R and I'm also going to bring up my terminal so I can find the pathway to the downloaded CSV file. Again, I'm on a Windows machine, so the commands I'm using in this video are going to be slightly different than if you're using a Mac. The first thing I'm going to do is see where my current working directory is by typing cd for Windows or pwd for Mac. I'm going to cd into the downloads folder where the machine learning tutorials files are. So now I'm going to use the command dir for Windows to list all the files uh, in the downloads folder or ls on a Mac. That will list everything in the downloads folder, which is not what we want because that's too many things. So instead I'm going to do dir space asterisk or wildcard learning asterisk and this will just list anything with the word learning in it. Now that we see the name of the folder we want to enter, we can go ahead and cd into machine learning neuroimaging. And you just have to cd one more level into the machine learning neuroimaging tutorial folder. So now we can grab the file name of the CSV and then we can also type in cd to get the file pathway or pwd if you're on a Mac. And if we jump to line 38 in the R code, we can go ahead and change the file pathway with the ones we just copied. You don't have to do this if you're on a Mac, but if you're on a Windows machine, when you copy file pathways, it puts in backslashes and R wants forward slashes. So you must do control F and then backslash in the find and forward slash in the replace and click all and it will replace all of the backslashes with forward slashes. So you can see after I fixed my mistake, I just had to add in another forward slash. Uh, it reads in the file correctly from the downloads folder.